Hello, welcome to Octagon Garage. My name is Robert. And today I wanted to talk about gas tanks, fuel tanks for MGB, MGC. Uh, and part of getting this vehicle running, I went and put a new fuel tank on it because the old one was pretty bad, pretty rusted. As you see in a lot of these vehicles, uh, they've been sitting for many years, that kind of thing. They get moisture in them and you know they start rusting bad. But they're easily changed out and you can, you can get from several different sources new tanks. But before I start that, I wanted to thank everybody for the year 2023. All the views and all the uh, subscriptions to the channel, it means a lot to me. Every year I try to do a year-end review and uh last year we had 17,296 views gained 85 subs thank you very much uh and 984 hours which was just a little bit down from the year before was just a little over a thousand so partly that's my fault <clears throat> It's been a while since I made a video, so, but I'm going to be changing that. Hopefully we'll do more videos this year than we did last year, grow the channel and all that. But I wanted to thank everybody uh, with that, and it means a lot. I can't believe that we've got so many people. Oh, by the way, it's 415 uh, subscribers. <clears throat> And that was right at the end of the year, 2023. I just checked today and we're at 419, so I've gained a couple more. Thank you very much. It means a lot. So anyway, back to the fuel tank. So the problem I was running into, I put the fuel tank, I bought this fuel tank, I don't remember where. Uh, it's a Spectra. I painted it all up. It's all dusty now because it's been sitting in the shop. I put it in the MGC, hooked it all up and everything, rebuilt the fuel pump, put fuel in it, fired it up, and man, it just fired right up. And I was messing with it all day. Start it and shut it off and start it and shut off. Pump come up to pressure, no problem. <clears throat> A week or so goes by. I'm going to go back out and work on the car again. Fires up and it dies. And then crank and crank and crank and it won't. It's not like it's not getting fuel. <clears throat> I thought there was something wrong with the pump. Couldn't, you know, it was, it was acting like it was vapor locked or air locked. <clears throat> so I took the pump apart. I couldn't find anything wrong with it. I put the pump back together. Same thing, no dice. So, I thought, I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with the pump. Maybe I did something wrong, something I, I don't know. I went and got another pump, put it in there. Same problem. Oh, so we got, we got an issue here. So, I thought, okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to disconnect the line from the tank, on the tank side. And I'm going to blow compressed air through the line. Maybe something's clogged up. I flushed all the lines and I put all new rubber lines on, on the engine side and the chassis side, you know, uh, or I should say the pump side, all that kind of thing. But maybe there's still some dirt in there. And so it has a hard steel line that goes from the tank with this fitting to the chassis and then from there it goes to a rubber line and goes to the fuel pump well you can see it's soldered on but look at that it just don't look right so when I went to go take the line loose there's the pickup tube that goes to the bottom of the tank when I went to go take the line loose it was, I don't know if I can show you, it was just ever so slightly cocked like that. And it was sucking air through the top of the fitting where it meets up against the tank right here. And you can see it's been soldered on, 
but it didn't hold. Now, I plan on taking this tank to, um, I plan on taking it to a uh, radiator shop and have them clean this really well and re-solder this back on, maybe braze it on if they can. I don't have the means of brazing. I don't have a torch yet and all that kind of stuff. Would probably be better for them to do it too. <laughs> My brazing isn't all that great. But anyhow, so there's that. I don't know if any of you guys have run into this problem with these tanks, with this bre breaking loose. I did see online where some people have had this problem they use some jb weld and stuck it back on there and they say they had any problems but uh i think i'd rather have it brazed back on and besides it's a brand new tank um unfortunately i don't remember exactly where i bought this tank it might have been british parts northwest it might have been i just don't remember because i had this tank for a few years before i installed it so it's not like I could go back to the retailer and say, hey, this thing's defective. So anyway, what I ended up doing was <clears throat> I had happened to have a spare tank. It wasn't uh, a Spectra tank. It was the one that British Parts Northwest sells. And oops, uh, and it's this one right here. I don't think it's an e-coating that's on the outside. I think it's more like a powder coating. But what's great about these tanks is, compared to the Spectra, and I was going to do a review between the two, but I was in a hurry to get the car running, so I had to get the tank in there. But I'll do some... Uh... So there's that. You can get it for $209.95 from... British Parts Northwest delivered. They include the shipping on it. Pretty good deal. But they're made they're made uh, similar to the stock tanks. It has the baffles in it. It has a tube that comes down with a strainer on it. The Spectra tank doesn't have a strainer on it. It's just a tube that comes down to the bottom of the tank. And the other cool thing is it has a drain plug like the factory tank does. The factory tank has a has a <clears throat> has a uh, drain plug also. Spectra tank does not. Now I don't know, I mean, how crucial it is that you have a drain plug on your fuel tank. Uh I can't think of too many times that I've actually had to pump the fuel out of the tank to do whatever i mean i guess if you're going to change it you, you pump it out but the spectra tank has the area where the plug should be it has the recess also just like uh this one from british parts northwest uh i believe the spectra tank is made in canada the last time I looked, um, th this tank, it's made in Taiwan, I believe, somewhere in the Orient. So, I don't know. Everything's being made. <laughs> Taiwan or China, Vietnam, what have you. Um, so, but for the money, it looked like a really good quality tank, and it fits like stock you set it next to a stock tank and it looks like a stock tank um it's a really good copy all the bolts line, lined up really well or the bolt holes i should say lined up really well everything's good um now this all might have been my doing maybe when i went to go hook up that line i got a little uh rambunctious with the with the wrench tightening it down and it caused it to peel back a little bit and caused the solder joint to fail. I'm not saying that it's anything bad with the product. I'm not saying anything about Birch Parks Northwest. I've never had any problems with them. Anytime I've had any kind of issue, it's been a little one. 
and they took care of it right away. Thank you very much. Uh, it's been great. So, uh, just wanted to give you a little update. Put it down in the text down below and uh, tell me if you had any problems with fuel tanks and what your fixes were. <clears throat> so now I got, mainly I bought, the tank that went in this car was going to go in the GT. So I don't know if I'm going to reuse this tank for the GT or if I'm just going to fix it and wrap it up and put it up on the shelf. Uh, I really do like the ones with the baffles and the drain plug and all that. Uh, it's nice that they also have the coating on them, too. So, like I said, if you have any life experiences with these tanks and what you did to fix it or whatever, put it in the comment and let, let us know. Uh, share, share the knowledge. So, anyway... Uh, excited about uh, 2024 and we'll see how things go i got some uh, ideas and some projects got some more uh, video ideas and so some more videos will be coming out i have just been so super busy lately so and then with around the holidays i've been feeling a little under the weather so anyway but it's we're getting better things are getting good so anyway i'll talk to you later you have a good day. Bye-bye.